Captain America, a character with a backstory we all know well, so be prepared to forget it all. Mom says it's my turn to play Captain America. I made the costume myself. Grant Gardner? I thought he played the Flash, not Cap. Ah, Reed Richards convinced Cap to hire his sister. Lionel Atwill's in this crap? You can repeatedly steal the screen from Basil Rathbone, but you lie about hosting one orgy. Not Commissioner Gordon, not Chief Inspector Dreyfus, but a secret third thing, Commissioner Dryden. Hey, George J. Lewis, just 13 years before he'd play Zorro's dad, even though he'd look 30 years older doing it. Hey, get these credits out of the way, I can't see where I'm going. Would you like some tea, Norman Nesbitt? The characters depicted are fictitious. Any resemblance to actual comic book characters is purely coincidental. Co-directed by Johnny English? Why couldn't it have been Mr. Bean or Blackadder? Chapter 1, The Purple Death, The Dark Secret Behind the Grimace Shake. This is the voice of the scarab. A character you already know and fear. The man you the cliff. Fine, but I'm doing it because I want to. Purple death, purple death. Now this guy looks way more like Zoro's dad. With a star, feeling fine. Off to Neverland! Does the Purple Death have anything to do with a purple cow? You are under the power of the Scarab, Jackson. Your weapon is in the right-hand drawer of your desk. A lead pipe? A wrench? Use it. The Scarab didn't specify how he should use it, so since he's clearly just aiming it straight up, he's using it to start a relay race. And now he's taking a nap. It took a lot out of him. The death of Harold Jackson, well-known attorney, is another link in the chain of mysterious crimes known as the Purple Death Murders. Purple Death, in all in my breath. has been found in the bloodstream of the dead man, and each victim clutched in his hand a jewel scarab. You're listening to GGR, Gail Gordon Radio. ...life among the ancients. It is significant that all of the murdered men were actively or financially connected with a recent scientific expedition into the ancient Mayan ruins of San... Mayan ruins. The authorities are completely baffled, and the mayor has called District Attorney Grant Gardner to appear before a meeting in the office of Police Commissioner Dryden. Close, Mayor. Uh, How are you, Commissioner? Hello, Grant. The Commissioner's been alibying his failure to turn up anything in these Purple Death murders. Was the mayor dubbed by Leslie Nielsen? I don't make excuses, but I do have a definite plan. And that is? I'd rather not discuss it now. You'll have to be patient. You remember the commissioner and I have cleaned up crime waves in this town before. Yes, that mysterious Captain America did most of your work for you. Is that a painting of Ed Sullivan behind him? Only contact him now. I feel certain that this new crime wave will bring him out of hiding to help us. Mm. And I hope so. Still more proactive than most politicians. Well, a new type of scientific criminal. So we should take him to science well, courts. You'll never find him in the usual haunts of crime. And by usual haunts of crime, I mean Six Flags Fright Fest. Mr. Drummond has a museum? It really does take different strokes. I tell you, Dr. Maldo. I am Pagliacci. There's a curse on everyone connected with that Mayan expedition. We never should have gone to Kenny Bunkport. Jackson's gone. And Wilson. And Evans. No, Evans won't be Captain America for decades. Well, you or I may be the next victim of the Scarab's family. My dear Professor Lyman, you're overexcited. Calm yourself. Rub yeah. one out. Have a cigar. Thank you. This is back when 10 out of 10 doctors recommended smoking. Yeah, suck on that, baby. Sit down, Professor. Sit down. Now unzip your pants. If there is an ancient curse upon us, this scarab who invokes it must be peculiarly mercenary. And devilishly handsome. These men you have named are known to have withdrawn large sums of money from their banks just prior to their deaths. That's true. But I am not wealthy. Ah, but the scarab wants other things. He wants Lorcana cards. Paintings. Antiques. He also wants scientific secrets such as you possess. Tell him what makes a ball bounce. Just what do you mean? The scarab wants the plans of the thermodynamic vibration engine which you have invented. How did you find out about my vibrator? 
I thought I hid it so carefully under the mattress. Containing information. Check it out. Pizza Hut book it badge. You, a scallop. Yes. I'm a scallop. Dude, spoilers, there's 14 episodes left of this serial. It is my vengeance which is striking at all of you. It was my expedition. I uncovered the secret information and laid the plans which made it successful. And how was I rewarded? In Dogecoin, utterly I worthless. I of an insignificant museum. While the rest of you receive the fame and wealth that should have come to me. Yeah, archaeological fame and wealth. You can't touch that phone. Well, fine, I didn't want to touch the phone anyway. I don't lie awake at night craving the feel of a phone in my hand. For the short time you have to live, your mind is completely under my control. You must obey my command. Now I order you to disobey me. Oh, wait. You are a slave of the Purple Death. Now put on a Slave uh, Layer costume. But how? And why are you telling me face to face instead of in voiceover like the other victims? The fumes from this cigar. Okay, no further explanation needed. I want to know more about the vibrator. You see, I'm having a party. For harnessing light and sound waves into a powerful force which will disintegrate any known material. That could be used by me as a powerful weapon of destruction. But I made this all battered disintegrator for peaceful purposes. Where are the plans? At home. In the safe. Safe, safe. How do you spell that? Write down the combination. You can touch this pen, but not the phone. Actually saying numbers out loud on film was a violation of the Hayes Code. The next item up for bid, some brand new henchmen! Uber. Get the Higgins boys. We'll take Professor Lyman out. Then we'll retcon it so that Lyman never existed and John Arbuckle bought Odie himself. Oh, and take this to remember me by. I really did cherish our time together. Step this way, Professor. And don't even think about touching any phones. Those days are behind you. Farewell, Lyman. It's the opposite of a hello, Newman. We'll find the plans in Lyman's safe. Here's the combination. Captain America, people handing papers full of numbers to each other. Now take these purple death bombs with you. See what you can get for them at GameStop. Weapons if anyone interferes. Yes, sir. Later in the world's least effective establishing shot. Oh, Agent 13's in there. This is what we're after. Mrs. Knott's chicken recipe. Just a minute! One minute, then you can continue your crime. Captain America's famous gun. More accurate avatar for America, I guess. Throw your gun in a corner. You too. Do I have to throw it in the same corner? Captain America, disarmed by a light punch. When you're a cap, you're a cap all the way. Captain America's one weakness, balsa wood. The first ever Marvel movie action scene. Soak it in. Boy, their hats are really good at staying on. He wasn't trying to hit Cap, he just wanted to get that ugly thing out of the house. The acting of middle school theater meets the action of middle school wrestling. Ow, my back! Ow, my front! So Cap's plan was to just show up at potential victims' houses in case Crook showed up too? My picture's in the opening credits, so I gotta escape. Miles away, someone else naps on a couch. He's running into the old forest. Old Man Willow will stop him. And the fight choreographer got bored, so the henchman shoots himself. Wow, that's a huge order of buzz balls. Boy, I sure love touching phones. I'm glad I have the freedom to do so. Police Commissioner Dryden speaking. This is Captain America. What's that? Captain America who? Where are you? Never mind that. Professor Lyman's life is in danger. Professor Lyman is dead. Oh, then I guess his that's life's no there. longer in danger. Another purple death accident. Well, at least I've accounted for one of the gang. Wow, he can really see the bright side of failing to stop a murder. That's all. Captain America, too late to save the day. Get me the district attorney's office. I just miss his voice for some reason. Hello, token girl speaking. Office, district attorney, Gail Richards speaking. 
Let me speak to the DA. Mr. Gardner isn't here now, Commissioner. He's busy, Captain Americaing. Well, tell him Captain America's on the job. He just killed one of the Purple Death murderers. Ah, <sighs> Grant, curb Not your bloodlust. Meanwhile, in Achievement USA, or How to Go Places or No Ghosts, or whatever car short I do next. Come in, Gail. Commissioner Dryden just told me the news. Do you need any help? I hope you're being inconspicuous. I will as soon as I get back to the office. Have Davis there. Jim Davis, I, I mean. He knows Lyman better than anyone. Right. You'll be here. This stuff is distilled from the Cypridium. Also, I guess I'm Davis. Highly concentrated as fumes from a deadly poison which leave those purple splotches on the victim's face. So that's why it's called the Purple Death? Might have been more effective in Technicolor. It surely is. One whip is enough. Do Floris have this Cypridium plant? And do androids dream of electric sheep? Fine. We'll trick the guilty one into showing his hand. Gail? You and I will visit the dealers of rare flowers in the morning. Fortunately, they live in the dealers of rare flowers headquarters I'm of the country. The district attorney's office. Yes, Miss Richards. We're trying to identify the plant from which this liquid was extracted. It may help in a criminal investigation. Yeah, Gail, let him stick the poison material right up to his nostril. Sorry, I can't identify it. Thank you. Hi, O'Kane. I bet my life on it. No, I... I don't recognize it. Thank you very much. Hmm, they're showing more of the set, so I've got a good feeling about finding a plot development here. Can I help you, miss? I'm from the district attorney's office. I have a plan extract which we're trying to identify with a murder investigation. Brad Garrett is anxious. I'm sorry, miss. I'm afraid I won't be able to help you. Oh, oh, and shards of glass fly into both of their eyes. I see you do know what the Purple Death Bomb is. Ow, stepped on glass. You fooled me, all right, but it isn't going to do you any good. Get in there. Don't talk. Move. Look, the bad guys can capture the leading lady, but you're still a poor substitute for Fleischer's Superman. Hey, you guys breaking some bad in here? Well, this dame's wise to our setup. Turn around here. Tie her up. So we got a vibrator, bomb shaped like a butt plug, and tying a girl up. Maybe Lionel Atwill wrote the script. Can't believe they make us cashiers clean up instead of hiring a dedicated custodian. Yeah, a real thorough cover up there. This better be important to interrupt my monocle time. Yes, speaking. The girl from the district attorney's office just came in. She had one of our purple death bombs and tricked me into showing my hand. What'll I do with her? You have plenty of the extract? Use it. Roger that. Tie her up and make her watch Mike Judge's extract. Excuse me, I couldn't help noticing that strange and interesting plant. We now go live to our peephole cam. I'm the district attorney. Uh, Miss Richards was to meet me here. I haven't seen her. I'll wait outside. Captain America's greatest power, noticing the bad guy's lack of follow-through. No, it's okay. Just spread that glass around so a child can step on it. Okay, he fights better as the DA, so why bother dressing up as Captain America at all? Does he just get off on stealing Steve's valor? Take me to Miss Richards. Good work, Green Hornet. Or Captain America, whatever. Get on the other side of the room. I'm gonna reblock this scene if it's the last thing I do. Eh, nice to see some people are still masking indoors. That just bulges our eyes. So district attorneys can just shoot people without due process? Drop that gun or we'll all die. And true to his word, they all died. Next week, Batman, whose secret identity is a CPA named Billy. The brilliant action of Grant Gardner, the district attorney... Oh, that Grant Gardner. ...the source of the purple death poison. The supremium orchid from which it was derived will be destroyed wherever found. Great job, gang. We're putting a plant on the endangered list. ...into the affairs and acquaintances of Professor Lyman, latest victim of the poison. Mercury Radio Theater's gone downhill. I've just come from the district attorney's office. He's questioning all the survivors of the main expedition. He doesn't suspect us. 
No. <laughs> the at will, no. It's like the opposite of a Frank Nelson, yes. We are not the only ones who know the secret of Lyman's dynamic vibrator. But his static vibrator is safe. Nobody wants a vibrator that doesn't move. Worse than that. There's a working model which Lyman and his assistant Gregory constructed at Professor Dodge's laboratory. I moved the pipe! He's taking some technicians here tonight to see a demonstration and learn all about it. But if they learn how it works, then my secret weapon will no longer be a secret. Colonel Sanders and protected his herbs and spices the same way. ...to counteract it. Therefore, the model and Gregory must be destroyed tonight. Do we have to destroy all that four Gregs? The directions with these plans show how to step up the power of the machine so high that it'll destroy itself, along with the building and everyone in it. Why is that in the directions? Oh, Captain America is on the job again. We know that Captain America gets information through the office of the district attorney. We don't find that suspicious at all. He's to give the district attorney a tip about the scatter that will send Captain America off on a false scent. And that I have arranged to do tonight. Oh, they're finally doing something with the old Starcade space. This is Eddie, Mr. Gardner. I've got a hot tip on those purple death killings. Can you come over? I'm afraid to leave here. Mainly because of the gun pointed at my back. I mean, wait! Arcade rooming house. All right, I'll be right over. What's he got? A tip on the scarab. I'll have to see him. I don't like it, Grant. It might be a trap. She only knows because she read the script. I'll phone Gregory that you're bringing the technical man. Go ahead with the demonstration, and I'll be there as soon as I've seen Eddie. Then I'll see Eddie's father about his courtship. Wow, he's lucky. You never find street parking in whatever city this takes place in. Well, your phone call worked, all right. So I guess we should let our victims touch phones. But I phoned the DA. That's right. And Captain America shows up as we expect. We're not great at putting two and two together. Well, you served your purpose, Eddie. Where the hell's the ice machine? Ah, another death Captain America was too late to save. I guess he threw in the towel. Come in. Come on in. This is how I greet the DoorDash driver when they're late with my Fuddruckers. Come on in. So Captain America's biggest superpower is using tedium to cause panic attacks? Plop. Oh no, his biggest superpower is the bad guys miss when they shoot at him. Who's your boss? I, I don't know his name. Stop the, the two bullets left. One plus yes. two plus one plus one? I'll hit one presently. Wait, wait, I'll talk. His name is Maxim. He wore a diamond. Keep talking. He wanted to get you out of the way. They're, they're pulling a big job at the office of a guy named Dodge. I don't know what it's all about. Alfie? Now he's tying up a guy next to a bed? I'm shocked everyone's clothes are still on. You can dodge a building, you can dodge a ball. Wow, Harold Lloyd's gonna climb that? Good evening, Mr. Gregory. Good evening, Mr. Richards. I hope you don't mind I brought my backup singers. Mr. Merritt and Mr. Norton are here to witness your demonstration of the vibrator. They're voyeurs. Yes, the DA telephoned me. I'm glad you came. Well, let's not get ahead of the vibrator, buddy. The secret of this machine, and it's a heavy responsibility. It came with heavy power. This way, please. It's built out of an old riverboat. Oh, the professor invented the interocitor. First, I'll show you how the machine works, and then I'll explain its construction. And he accidentally sends a car full of Knots guests back in time to the kingdom of the dinosaurs. In a few minutes, we'll have generated sufficient power to destroy this miniature structure. Incredible! An automatic slide rule! Now, if you'll uh, step this way, you will see the result of the demonstration. Spider-Man, Spider-Oomph-Man. So the vibrator is the closest we're getting to vibranium in this, isn't it? The Silent Fedora Club is here for their silent meeting. All right, remember, we all gotta yell surprise at the same time. This machine 
would be a deadly weapon in the hands of the scarab. That's true. If you want to be a downer. When plans were stolen from Professor Lyman. They contained instructions for stepping up the machine's power to 100 million volts. Kind of stupid on Lyman's Force part, really. Shatter a 20 story building like an eggshell. Gregory's right, gentlemen. We're here from the Gregory Affirmation Committee. We have directions here, and we'll give you a demonstration of what this machine can do to this building. Well, the first one who starts anything gets it. You see, we're from Publisher's Clearinghouse, and you will open this letter. Set the control panel. You can't get away with it. More guns have been grabbed than fired in this room. episode. Let's see. Congratulations on your purchase of a dynamic vibrator. Before we wreck this building, I want all of Professor Dodge's papers. Open that vault. I said open that vault. Smacking. The best way to threaten someone with a gun. But there's nothing in the vault except Song of the South and the Darkwing Duck episode with Satan. Quick, to the Captain America sensible sedan. Get him. Guess I can put the gun away if he's doing what I want. Get in the vault, all of you. This is murder! That's right. Wholesale murder. I got a membership to murder, Costco. Why was it easier for me to tell apart the animated Superman henchmen than these real-life human henchmen? All set. Start it up. I'll get the car ready for our getaway. This is what Taylor Swift wrote Getaway Car about. Right. If that machine builds up to its full power, this building will collapse in a cloud of dust. Again, real stupid of Lyman to design it like that. Oh, you switch it to on, okay. Gotta tweak the machine's nipples. Escape from Vault Gregory. He didn't signal his turn. Captain America's the bad guy. Ugh, Mondays, right? The Scarab said something about a key party. I assume that involves throwing keys out the window. Paula. Captain America. Damn it, Barry, we rehearsed this. Synchronized. What's happening in there? Aurora Borealis? Get over there. No, defeated by a short piece of furniture. You should have been warned by Rob Petrie. Isn't this the same office from the Superman cartoon showdown? Watch out for the trapdoor in the mobster's putt-putt class. Stella! So which of these stuntmen is Don Lockwood? Oh man, what did I drink last night? Oh, I hope that's not a hostage. Hi, Kiba! Now you will look out the window and tell me if it's raining. And you will test the comfort level of this patent leather couch. Oh boy, more gun grabbing. I'm sorry, I don't think this guy has America's ass. Hat rack smash! Now kiss me! Cause it's one, two, three strikes, you're out! Yeah, that helps, Cap. Do any of you know the combination? Yes. Set point at zero. Left. Seventeen. You wanna speed up telling me the combination? No? Well, it's your life. The vibrator! If it doesn't shut off, the building will collapse. Get out, I'll try to stop it. Shouldn't I, the scientist who understands the machine, be the one to stop it? No? Okay. Damn it, Gozer. No, there goes the church and there goes the steeple! It's one of those Scooby-Doo hallway full of doors chases. No, a completely different building! 
Oh, when the Nazi gangsters in Metropolis shoot the locks, they're villains, but... Yet another building! This destruction must end! The penitent man will pass. Gotta build out a sturdier gingerbread. Why does the title of the second episode of every public domain iteration of a famous superhero start with mechanical? Well, that concludes the first episode of the first ever film depiction of a Marvel Comics character, at least in name. But I guess we'll move on to a new character next time. I mean, Cap obviously died in that building collapse. There's no possible way he could have survived it. As usual, I would like to thank my patrons for their financial support, and especially these patrons for joining me to watch this serial on a few live streams. They joined me on the expedition to the ancient ruins of this Republic serial, and I sincerely hope none of them are subject to any sort of scarab curse because of it. Well, they were already subject to one curse, the curse of having to watch this serial without jokes, but hopefully the long-term damage is minimal. If you would like to join me in the next live stream, even a $1 pledge gets you access. And a $2 pledge gets you access to early looks at videos, including next week's riff, which is, fortunately, a colorful cartoon. Unfortunately, it's another frickin' jam handy Chevrolet promo, but colorful cartoon! and I'll have a friend to help out this time. Now, if you'll excuse me, a hypnotic voice is telling me to jump off my apartment balcony, so until next time, this is Dave, signing off.